Hello and welcome to the next episode of the Cracker Pack series. Today we are opening up the very first pack of Magic Origins on this series. Uh, this was an interesting set. There were a few cards that I really liked. Uh, the Flip Planeswalkers were fantastic. Obviously Jace is kind of at the top of that list. Uh, but even at Uncommon, there was a card that I really enjoyed that uh, got to see a little play at the time in Modern with Bounding Crisis. And the only reason it did was because it was basically a sec or a, excuse me, a third either Pestermite or Deceiver Exarch. It had the exact same ability. So you could tap or untap a permanent, which meant if you Splinter Twinned onto the Bounding Krasis, uh, you could generate infinite numbers of the Bounding Krasis cards. So definitely a super powerful uncommon, though obviously not of any value and not even really played anymore since Splinter Twin has been banned. So uh, an interesting set though. I definitely would love to see a Jace. I think that would be the best thing uh, out of the set, but also just because I want one. So we'll see what we get. Our first common is Celestial Flare, Thornbow Archer, Volcanic Rambler, Bone to Ash, Aerial Volley, Heavy Infantry, Bonded Construct, Prickle Boar, Reeve Soul, Fairy Miscreant, a great popper card. And our first uncommon is Mage Ring Network. Uh, Chief of the Foundry, a great lord for artifacts. And Skyraker Giant. And our rare is a Graveblade Marauder. So two and a black for a 1-4 human warrior with death touch. Uh, whenever it deals combat damage to a player, that player loses life equal to the number of creature cards in your graveyard. Uh, I could definitely see this with some commander play or something like that. I don't know if at the time this saw any play. I kind of doubt it. Uh, but it is definitely an interesting card, and it makes it a little bit more difficult to get rid of with that four toughness. Obviously, that's out of bolt range and things like that. So uh, definitely interesting, and death touch being really prominent here because it's always going to deal at least one damage theoretically. And so it's always going to be able to kill stuff. So lesser creatures are not going to be able to effectively block this. It's just going to kill them. Uh, interesting card, actually. I, I kind of like this one. I don't believe it has any serious value, but it is definitely interesting. So happy to see that. Unfortunately, no Jace, no other Planeswalkers, but hopefully we'll get a few more Origins packs in the future and we can maybe open one up later. So if you guys enjoyed this, make sure to leave a like or a comment down below and make sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of these episodes. Uh, until the next one, though, guys, I'm going to get out of here. Thank you so much for watching.